Suez Crisis Coincidences British and French forces were attacking Egypt at the Suez Canal, and the Soviet government told the U.S. that they should have teamed up in a military operation to stop this. The Soviets also warned the British and French governments that they were considering non-nuclear rocket attacks on London and Paris if they didn't stop. That night, the North American Aerospace Defense Command received multiple messages showing that unidentified aircraft were flying over Turkey. 100 Soviet fighter planes were over Syria, a British bomber had been shot down over Syria, and that the Soviet fleet was moving through the Dardanelles, a passage that goes from Turkey to Europe. At that point, U.S. forces believed these events could trigger a NATO nuclear strike against the Soviet Union. But luckily, nothing happened, because it was later revealed that the unidentified aircraft over Turkey were actually just a wedge of swans. The 100 Soviet fighter planes over Syria were just a routine Air Force escort for the president of Syria, who was returning from a visit to Moscow. The British bomber went down due to mechanical problems, and that the movement through the Dardanelles was a scheduled routine exercise. Greenland's Moonrise the U.S. early warning radar at Thule in Greenland reported to the North American Aerospace Defense Command headquarters in Colorado Springs that they saw dozens of Soviet missiles launched against the United States. The NORAD went into maximum alert, but one factor raised some questions. The Soviet leader, Nikita Khrushchev, was in New York at the time, so it wouldn't have made much sense for the Soviets to attack at that time. This probably saved the world, and it was later discovered that the radar was actually fooled by the moonrise over Norway, with computers misinterpreting this as an all-out attack on the U.S. Goldsboro B-52 Crash an American B-52 Stratofortress carrying two Mark 39 nuclear bombs broke up in mid-air near Goldsboro, a city in North Carolina, dropping the nukes too. The first bomb's parachute failed, and the bomb broke apart on impact, while the second one suffered little damage on impact, but five of the bomb's six safety devices failed during the crash. A later expert evaluation reported that one simple, dynamo technology, low-voltage switch stood between the United States and a major catastrophe. Omaha's Lost Connections the Strategic Air Command's headquarters in Omaha lost contact with the early warning radar in Thule, in Greenland, and when they tried to call NORAD headquarters in Colorado to find out what the problem was, the line was dead. Now, it's important to state that the likelihood of communication problems with both locations at the same time was really low, and that the Strategic Air Command was responsible for USA's nuclear weapons like strategic bombers and intercontinental ballistic missiles. At this point, the Strategic Air Command thought that an attack was happening, so there